Hey there, how are you guys? Coming to you Howdy. for today's challenge. You get both of us today. That's right, day 26. But today's 27. A, 27. 27. But today's a special day, that's I'm why lost. you get both of us. That's right. Yes, because today is our My anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> so we were married 19 years today. And so we thought that we would take today's challenge um, and be a little different today. Today we're gonna talk to all of the married couples. So today, um, if you are single, we love you and, and um, we're praying for you. We're, pr <laughs> we're praying if for you. If you're single, pray for that spouse. That may happen someday. Yeah. That's that's our challenge. But today we really want to talk to our married couples and we want to take some time just to dive in to what it means to be married in a quarantine and what that looks like. That's a new thought, right? Because 26, 27 days locked in a house with one person yeah. and can, children yeah and dog and it could be, right. it could be really hard <laughs> it can be it can have its days right we can all laugh about actually it. it really hasn't been that challenging for us true um you know we love to to be together and spend time together we love to be with our kids uh, most of the time <laughs> But we, we've actually been able to get through this very, very well. And I think um, a large part of that comes from communication and talking to one another, learning how to communicate well over the years. And uh, we've definitely been through our ups and downs, right? Absolutely. <laughs> but learning to communicate through all of the things that we've faced has definitely made being um, in quarantine a lot easier. Right. I think it also it also helps to even have the alone time, uh, something we do as well. Um, you know, and that's the joy of having you know in a house with a, a back deck or a garage. And, you know, we can we can have a few hours by ourselves to focus on things that we you know want to build or want some projects we want we might want to get done or a, a room that might need cleaning. Which you know, because it does get dirty during well, the quarantine. You know. Like <laughs> seems like you know more than ever. Uh, so there is that. But uh, you know, it, it's important. You know to uh, have the alone time and stuff, but also um, to, uh, when you are in, in a place together for a long period of time, to, to be communicating and not, yeah. not to be shut up and, and, uh, and cut off from, from everybody in the, in the house. Yeah, so. definitely. So your challenge today is to communicate. And by that, we mean we want you guys to recall some memories. Yeah, so. got plenty of those. <laughs> So what we want you guys to do is sit down, uh, maybe it'll be over dinner, maybe it'll be before you guys go to bed, whatever that might be, and uh, or maybe just sit back on your back deck and enjoy a drink and just chat with one another. But what we want you guys to do is recall your first date, for starters. So recall your first date. So uh, it, what was our first date? It was a movie, wasn't it? Was it? Was it? Was it? I believe so. <sighs> I believe it was dinner was there a movie involved too well actually right. if we're being technical our first date was little caesar's pizza in dawson's right. creek like it the premiere the premiere of dawson's with two creek. other people who weren't a couple so we'll, they we'll weren't a couple but they were our best friends yes. so there was that so we totally drug our best friends along and went to one of their homes and um we ordered little caesar's pizza yeah. and watched dawson's very creek very romantic yeah you kissed me i know <laughs> But she, our, first, she help it. our first real date, we went to Olive Garden. That's right. And um, I actually have a picture of it. So we actually have a photo of it upstairs um, where we went to Olive Garden and then we went and saw a movie. That's right. We did. You were right. Man in the Iron Mask. But, yeah, go Leonardo DiCaprio. That's right, right. Great movie. That's the... <laughs> go, go check it out. Now everyone knows exactly how old we are. That's right. We've been together for 22 years. So that was 22 years ago. So it's been a while. Yeah. So, recall your first date. So, remember that moment, talk about that, laugh about that, and what would be another good thing for that? Well, one thing we did, you could probably find it on our Facebook page, it was, it was kind of entertaining, was to go back and, and look at every place you, you've ever lived. Yeah. That was kind of fun for us. <laughs> that was challenging, um, though, you know, too. Because, 
you're, you're personally listing all the places you've ever lived. So there's all the places you lived before you met. But uh, once you, you know, were married and then you started moving around together or wherever you, mm -hmm. wherever life took you, uh, it's been fun to, to reminisce about that as well. We've had some interesting places we've lived and interesting times. And, and, and we keep bouncing back and forth between the same for a few, for many years there. We were bouncing back and forth between like two cities. Right, right. So that was, that was fun. We've moved a lot, yeah. <laughs> but through all of that, there's been amazing experiences, um, amazing challenges, and amazing rewards. Mm. And so we want you guys to also remember that, to think back to all the places you've been together, uh, lived, not just traveled, because for some of you, that would just take a lifetime just to recall all of that. Mm. But all the places you have lived together, and what that looked like, what those memories included. Yeah, think about those challenges and how um, they got you to the place that you are today. Mm -hmm. That's the important part. Um, th there may have been some rough times. There may have been a lot of good times, but uh, consider how those rough times um, helped shape you into a better couple and uh, how you can actually use those to, like, you know, we like to do all the time when we have, uh, when we counsel with other couples or when we talk about our experiences, um, how those rough times have have made us stronger mm -hmm. and we're able to to help others as well so uh, there's lots of things to think about lots of memories yeah. and so just just talk about them have fun laugh yeah uh, you know <laughs> hopefully it doesn't anger you to get you know to go back in time yeah that would but, that uh, might be bad <laughs> yeah and then you, obviously you're going to be in different rooms but um yeah. no but uh but do that reminisce uh, talk about the past and uh, share your experiences together and, and laugh that's that's a, a good way to to pass some time um while we're uh, quarantined yes and then the last thing we want you guys to do is remember your wedding day yes so maybe there could be some really really great memories from that maybe not so great but we want you to recall your wedding day what did that look like what did that feel like what were those emotions that um, you had that day that you guys can recall you know um, Maybe it's going to be recalling um, getting ready with all of your bridesmaids and how special that was. You know, um, I woke up this morning to a text from my sister-in-law who actually was there. Um, she was one of my bridesmaids and she was, uh, she wrote to us just to say happy anniversary and it reminded me of how fun that night was before and, and the night of my wedding with her and the special memories that we have uh, together that, I, I can recall, you know, I just, it makes me want to sing Dixie Chicks and it, when she watches it, she'll totally understand. But um, recall those kind of things. Recall those, you know, that moment when you're walking down the aisle, ladies, and you saw your spouse for the first time and what that was like. And how I took her breath away. Yeah. With all your tears. I was crying. I <laughs> Good tears. I mean, yeah. But recall those moments, recall, you know, your first dance or uh, whatever uh, fun things that happened at your wedding. So recall those things and um, just take some time today to remember why you love one another. Or, or bust out that wedding video. There's that too. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. Well, you ours know, is on VCR, it is, ironically. And we can't watch it. We can't watch <laughs> ours. That's that's our challenge to each other to take those to Costco and get them put on DVDs, yeah. right? Or, Stinking, or digitally. A after the quarantine, we'll have to send it in and, and turn it into a DVD. So challenge we, to Matt and Lisa. <laughs> so we can watch it. Or find a VCR somewhere on like eBay or something, yeah. right? There we go. Do, do they sell them? I think so. I think Walmart still does. <laughs> Oh, but not right now, though. <laughs> right. Yeah, just not now, because it's not essential. <laughs> so, um, in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 through 33, it talks about husbands and wives. And so, the other thing is, we want you guys to go and read that together. So, Ephesians 5, verses 22 through 33. So, go and read that together. Remember the, you know, as you read through this, look at the what the call that God has on your life as a husband and as a wife, what he has brought together. Um, you know, my favorite part on this is chapter 32. It says that this mystery is profound, and I'm saying that it refers to Christ and the church. And so that's, you know, how we're going to kind of wrap this up for you guys today is remembering that Christ has set marriage in place, and it is special and the profound mystery is that he compares marriage to the church. 
and his love for the church. And so when you guys read this today, just remember how much um, God has ordained your marriage, how much he is in love with each and every one of you, and how special your marriage is. All right, especially if you want uh, your relationship to work as a couple, you know, it's the same way. You, you work at it and you, you communicate uh, just like we try to be strong Christians in our lives, to try to be powerful men and women of God, we got to communicate with God on a, on a normal basis. No, get to know Him more um, each and every day. And so we just, we just, we don't stop uh, putting in the effort. We don't stop communicating. We just uh, push in and, and, and dive in deeper uh, to our relationship with God. And it's, and it's the same way for, for us if we want to be a, a wonderful couple, a, a, you know, a power couple, right? You know, we want to be happy. We want to be um, successful. We communicate. And uh, we, we always um, pour into each other as much as we possibly can. So. It's easy to pour into you. I kind of mm -hmm. like you. What can I say? <laughs> I did my best. Well, we hope that you guys have an incredible day. Um, happy day 27. I think that's what you said, right? right. <laughs> it's all a blur anymore. But we really hope that you guys take some time. And remember how amazing your marriage is, um, even if it has its challenges. It's amazing, and God has brought you guys together. And so may you find joy today. May you remember how special each other is, and uh, as you just recall all of those memories. So have fun. Absolutely. Happy memory. Live, laugh, happy and love. walking down memory lane. You got it. <laughs> Strolling. All right, we love you guys. We will see you tomorrow. You got it. Have a good day. Bye.